Hi everyone, welcome back to So True underscore PH. Right now in Math in Love, Love in Math, we will be talking about the graphs of functions, selected functions with a touch of pandemic. Right now we'll be able to learn the graphs of linear function, quadratic function, and of exponential function. We have three to focus today in my vlog. Please don't forget to always be here from time to time for us to deal with a lot of basic math that could be applied in our daily living. So taking now the overview of the vlog today, I'd like to direct you to the functions that what I have mentioned a while back, which are the linear function, quadratic function, and uh, exponential functions. These three functions are obviously different from each other according to their properties and features. So come and let's have more fun on these graphs. But wait, to make it so clear to us, uh, before we could graph, uh, you should be able to review first the basic skills to incorporate in graphing. So we have to emphasize that you should be finding first the given function for you to complete the table of values out of that given function then afterwards you have to plot then graph basically when you complete a table you have to use the process of substitution or plugging and as well as knowing the differences again among these three functions and as what i have mentioned a while back uh, this vlog for today would be incorporating or integrating somehow to what we are having in our health conditions worldwide it is the pandemic period so we will connect the three basic graphs that we are to learn to the real face of the health condition in the world all right so graphs to pandemic so talking now with linear function uh, take a look at any slanting straight line that would represent the graph of linear function mathematically when the input variable is changed the change in the output is proportional to the change in the input so trying now to connect the concept of linear function pertaining to its feature slanting straight line i'd like to say that it is somehow a manifestation of cause and effect um, shall i say uh, it is in connection to social awareness since we know what is happening outside then it is also noted and manifested and even being aware that we are anytime being infected as well not just uh, you or me uh, alone but also to the community where uh, i belong so or where you belong that's why it is like saying social awareness and moving now to the second function that we are to focus uh, for this vlog we have quadratic function uh, it is like having a graph that has a vertex uh, mirror image of one side to the other side um, the domain is real numbers set of real numbers that is somehow uh, facing upward downward or sideward we refer parabola as the graph of quadratic function the feature of a parabola is like bell-shaped form that is facing upward or downward or even sideward so example for this is like any ball game uh, with a ball having the trajectory uh, just like playing basketball the ball to the ring the path it is creating is like in a form of parabola or any wire being suspended uh forming a u-shape yeah and emphasizing now the quadratic function to its application or relevance to what we have now the pandemic it is like saying 
social responsibility. Well, it is all because that uh, we have our responsibility to the community where we belong. So we can't afford that we can eat three times a day, but our neighbors are not. So it is our responsibility to share what we have. It is very essential right now at this very moment that everybody should be sharing uh, and also keeping things in order amid this crisis. And why am I saying so? Social responsibility, it is our big contribution to the community. Just like in the graph of quadratic function, uh, mirror image. So it is prayed and it is hoped that what you have could also be experienced by the other, especially in terms of survival. And please allow me to move to the next function, which is exponential function. Mathematically, it is an independent variable appears in one of the exponents. Uh, it models a relationship in which a constant change in the independent variable gives the same proportional change in the dependent variable. Commonly, it is heard on television or on radio or any news that the cases worldwide on the sphere of the earth are becoming exponential. That is having rapid growth of the cases and of the virus everywhere. So as a way of having our social response, we should also take part as individuals or as citizens of the Philippines. Yeah, it is our way of helping our government, the Philippines. And that's all for today, guys. I hope that you learned something new. Uh, the focus, by the way, are the graphs of the selected functions in connection to pandemic. I hope that you learned something new today. Please don't forget the basics for me. Yeah, because you are true. So. <laughs>
Yes, yes ma'am. Can those ma'am. Ang sa'yo mong first dose? Pfizer ma'am. Oh, Pfizer ka ka rin na. Yes, yes ma'am. Sopo ko ba ma'am. Rock lang.